Hello everyone, my name is Muhammad Rashad and in our last lecture we learned how we can uh, create custom forms in our uh, Oracle uh, Apex and in today lecture we will learn how we can create procedure based forms uh, in Oracle Apex. So uh, let's uh, start open your browser and log into your Apex workspace. Provide your password. And uh, now uh, go to your SQL workshop object browser. So uh, first of all, we need to create a, a procedure uh, which we will use in our uh, form. So uh, select here procedure and click here to create a procedure and name of the procedure is underscore add underscore slim country okay include arguments uh, because uh, our procedure have arguments okay you can uh, use already existing procedure as well so uh, uh, uh argument name uh, is uh, p underscore country id and it's uh, in parameter and it's uh, data type is a uh, watcher tool then we have p underscore country underscore name and it's uh, it is also a uh, in parameter and data type is uh, watch R2. Then we have a uh, third parameter uh, which is uh, P underscore region underscore ID and then it is also uh, in parameter and data type of uh, this parameter is number. <clears throat> uh, that's it. You can use uh, uh, it to move your uh, argument uh, above R2. Create and here we need to uh, provide procedure body so in procedure body we want uh, to insert our record into our uh, country table so uh, type here insert into countries countries and uh, name of the columns uh, here uh, which are uh, country ID country name and then we have region ID okay uh, then we have values and values are uh, coming from our oracle apex forms so <clears throat> type here p underscore country id then we have p underscore country name and then we have p underscore region id which is actually uh, we defined in our previous uh, step you can uh, verify uh, your uh, input parameters um, from here, here we have p underscore country id p underscore country name and p underscore region id so you have to pass uh, uh, these argument names uh, in values so uh, that's it next and then click on uh, this is a, a summary where it uh, we can see our schema is hr procedure and name of the procedure is procedure as country uh, create uh, unable to create the procedure okay uh, let me check or uh, here we have uh, okay uh, create next create procedure and uh, move to your object browser uh, here select uh, procedures and 
here we have procedure add country so uh, let me check what is wrong with this procedure create or replace procedure name of the procedure uh, parameters are country id in watcher 2 p underscore country name in watcher 2 p underscore region id in number is begin insert into countries and then we have country id country name uh, region id and then we have parameter okay copy paste uh, these parameters and paste it here and then region id okay and place semicolon over here and uh, save and compile okay country name okay uh, country uh, name we have uh, n two times that's why we are getting errors click on save and compile so uh, your procedure uh, created successfully now uh, go to your app builder uh, your application and create page a form and form on local procedure and uh, here we have to provide name of the uh, page and name of the page is uh, procedure based form and then uh, branch here on submit branch here on submit means where you want to a redirect after a submit so i want to redirect on my home page and then on cancel i want to redirect on my home page next uh, create navigation menu next and then we have to provide a uh, name of the uh, procedure so select a procedure add country and here we have uh, uh, argument uh, which are input arguments to our uh, uh, procedure uh, here we have uh, our option uh, is it we want to include uh, uh, it or not then we have label so these are the labels for our text fields uh, which will be created based on our procedure parameters if you want to uh, provide any default values you have uh, option to uh, input default values and then uh, we have display type text field text field and text field we all uh, want to uh, show as a text field so create so here we have a, a form which is uh, based on our uh, procedure uh, uh, basically uh, uh, you can see a uh, run store procedure uh, this is our default process created by oracle uh, apex uh, and here we have a uh, go to page one link uh, which is our cancel uh, uh, button uh, this uh, uh, process will be created after the uh, processing and we will be redirected to our home page so uh, save your page and run it so here we have a page okay uh, provide your country id is pk and name of the country is pakistan and region id is uh, 3 okay uh, click on submit so after submit uh, you are uh, on your uh, home page so move to your procedure based form again and click on cancel so you are redirected to your uh, home page again so uh, uh, in this lecture uh, we uh, see that how we can create procedure based form in our oracle apex you can create a procedure with in out parameters and you can use it in your uh, oracle apex application so that's it for today thank you thank you so much